Hell's Kitchen is a fairly simple concept for a TV show. Cook to the best of your abilities for a couple weeks and hope that your talents stand out to Chef Ramsay, with Ramsay giving the best chef a head chef position at one of his own restaurants. But whether it's due to the stress of it all or simply wanting to get ahead of their competitors, some chefs have not played by the rules of Hell's Kitchen. What's going on guys? I'm Flint Masters and today we'll be looking at five times Hell's Kitchen contestants broke the rules. Now, I don't have the Hell's Kitchen rule book in front of me or anything like that, but I think I can definitely say these five incidents would be considered breaking a code of conduct, whether that be when it comes to the kitchen or the actual show. Before we begin, if you love Hell's Kitchen, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button as we're building an amazing HK community on this channel and I upload new and fun Hell's Kitchen videos every week. With all that said, let's take a look at these infamous HK rule breakers. Bloody hell, here I go again. During the early seasons of Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay would often only have one person choose nominees as opposed to letting the team decide. He named this person the best of the worst and Corey was given that honor after having a great night on the appetizers during the second episode of season four. So it was up to her on who would be going up for elimination that night. Okay, plenty of options here. Sharon had a miserable night, Roseanne had been a terrible major D, Vanessa and Shayna seemed like weak links, so you can't really go wrong with any of those options. My first nominee for strategic reasons, is Christina. My second nominee for personal reasons is Jen. Jen, cool me. We're working in a serious kitchen. We're here to win a serious prize. I want her out. Okay, the gloves are off. And while this isn't exactly a rule break per se, it's pretty clear that when Ramsey asks for nominees, he wants them based on talent level, as he could care less about the personal problems the chefs have back in the dorms. Chef Ramsey unsurprisingly went away from the nominees, and for the first time ever, sent the chef home without nomination, with that being Sharon. So in a way, Corey broke Hell's Kitchen by breaking Chef Ramsey's rules here, as Chef Ramsey was forced to break his own set of rules by going away from the nominations to eliminate the right person, something we've grown used to seeing from Ramsey. On top of that, best of the worst nominations slowly died throughout the years after Corey tried to take matters into her own hands. But to be fair though, it's not like the team nominations have been that much better. The second nominee uh, is Don. Don? Why? He didn't even cook. Staying on the episode 2 train, in season 7, the teams competed in an egg challenge, having to cook the eggs in four different ways. The teams worked in pairs, but since the women were down a member, Chef Ramsay told Siobhan she had to do this challenge by herself. Ladies, because you're one person short, Siobhan. Yes, Chef. You're on your own today. Yes, Chef. I mean, that's a pretty blunt order from Chef Ramsay. Be hard to mess that up. Siobhan, work with me and Fran, all no right? No problem, no problem. You want me to just do poached? Poach it. Soft boiled egg. How long do you boil it for? My teammates helped me, Chef. Your teammates helped you? Yes, Chef. I asked you to work on your own. You cook <laughs> eggs four ways. I could and I You'll wanted be to. You could by yourself. So if you wanted to, why didn't you? Because there was pressure from my team. Are you serious? Which one of these four eggs did you do? I did the poached egg, Chef. So you only poached one egg in five minutes. I should have pushed her out of the way and I'm so mad at myself that I did. Listen, please. You do as I say. The red team would actually end up losing this challenge by one point after Siobhan's three other dishes were disqualified. This was bad all around, as not only did Siobhan not follow the instructions, but what in the world was Autumn thinking here? Did she not understand Ramsey's request either? And it's not like Autumn whispered to Siobhan to come work with her and Fran. Someone should have overheard that and stepped in before it was too late. But hey, that is the season seven red team for you. At number three is another incident coming from episode two, this time from season eight. Seriously, what is it about episode two that turns chefs into cheaters? For those of you that have watched my worst mistakes video, you know which moment I'm talking about. Vinny was assigned assistant maitre d' for the blue team that night. However, after living with Raj for a couple days and seeing firsthand just how bad of a chef he was, Vinny broke the rules of being a maitre d' and being a waiter in general by not letting the customers choose their order. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. If you guys order sides, you're gonna be here till next Tuesday. Well, I have zero confidence that Raj is getting out. Garnishes and sides. Right, no sides. No sides. Can order sides. Why are you not allowed to order sides? Because I guess we, we get our food quicker if we don't order sides. No, 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 no. One of his tables, he's telling them they, can only, they can't have side orders because it takes too long to get out of the kitchen. You better understand one thing. You do not decide what goes out of this kitchen. I don't know. Get out! Yes, sir. Get out, you! 
Not only did Vinny break the rules of being a major D, but he broke Ramsey's rules as well, as he said himself that sides are specifically required to be served with entree dishes. Again, say what you will about Vinny and if he was truly in the wrong for doing what he thought would be best for the customer, but there's no getting around how bad of a look this was to throw the integrity of Gordon Ramsay's menu right out the window. Vinny decided that it was a bright idea to tell the customers don't order sides because the kitchen can't deliver. How dare you? That's my decision and not yours. I expect some respect. Yes, chef. The first time a chef broke the rules, or in this case, attempted to break the rules, came all the way back in season one. At least it didn't happen during episode two this time. After the blue team lost the blind taste test, they had a two-part punishment. Along with cleaning the pots and pans, they also had to unlock the storage room throughout the service, which would obviously slow them down compared to the red team when it came to retrieving the items needed. And while they were able to remember the code on the first shot, Andrew tried to take it up a notch, but got caught red-handed by sous chef Scott. Just give me the mask Oh, I got this. What are you doing? Get that tape off of there. And get the back in there. You think I'm stupid? You guys it up, you get a punishment. You don't rig it so it works for you. You blew it, pay the consequences. Got it? Yes, sir. Chip, I'm gonna break those down right now. No, you're not, because Andrew just ruined it for you because he was taping the door. When you need him, you gotta come in here and get one. Not only was this the first time a chef ever tried to cheat, but this was also the first time we saw a sous chef get Gordon Ramsay level of mad in Hell's Kitchen, proving to the chefs and the audience that the sous chefs can be just as scary as Ramsay if they have to be. Andrew would actually get eliminated that same night, and while he obviously never really stood a chance standing next to Ralph, I do wonder if the fact that he proved he was willing to break the rules lost him any little chance Ramsay may have given him. Andrew's gone tonight because he's out of his depth. I discovered a fake. He can't cook. There's been plenty of all-time great fights in Hell's Kitchen, and while chefs have come close to getting physical, nobody has ever crossed the line, except for one person. Jackie is one of the most notorious chefs to ever enter Hell's Kitchen due to her less than mature personality, and this rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, with Kristen being the most vocal about Jackie's unprofessional attitude in the kitchen. After spending weeks with each other, the two finally had enough and went nose to nose, with the show even hyping it up as the greatest fight in Hell's Kitchen history. And while maybe it was a little overhyped, Jackie would in fact end up assaulting Kristen. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Out of my Put face. Put your hands on me. <gasps> Kristen, Put your hands on done. me. Done. 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 But what the fuck is wrong with you? As those ashes smell. That's what happens when you can't strangle a bitch. Crazy deranged. I mean, that's as clear as you can get to rule breaking. And while Jackie didn't physically touch Kristen, that's still obviously considered an assault. In fact, the producers even asked Kristen if she wanted Jackie removed from the game for being considered unsafe. But Kristen said no to this because she wanted to beat Jackie with her skill and not by default. My God, is that badass. They feel like I'm not professional. And maybe they're just intimidating. I mean, maybe they thought I was gonna kill them all. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see and want to see more HK vids like this in the future, then please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below of other times Hell's Kitchen contestants broke the rules and be on the lookout next week for a video about the unwritten rules of Hell's Kitchen. With all that said, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.